And I'm going to bring up this next guy who, uh, Ed Driscoll and I just worked with in New York City. And that's where he runs a comedy club called The Paper Moon. He's been on the show a couple of times before. Wacky as it may seem, he's back again. Evidently, I owe him something. Please, a nice round of applause, Mr. Eddie Brill. Yeah! Yeah! Good evening! You guys are wild! Calm down! How are ya? All right. Glad to be here, yeah, I've been from New York. New York. You know, it's funny, I don't really have that New York accent, a lot of people do. And, and I always wonder how the Brooklyn accent ever started. You know, the first people in America were Indians. You know how they spoke. Oh, Kimasabi. <laughs> right? And the first people to settle here in America, of course, were the British. You know how they spoke. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, the first president of the United States, Mr. George Washington. And Washington comes out, thank you very much. <laughs> so what I want to know is how did Kimosabi and All Right Mate turn into Up Yours Joey? You know, <laughs> no natural progression anywhere. Probably a tribe of Brooklyn Indians we didn't know about. And of course, the Indians, of course, are not from Brooklyn, but <laughs> we're just joking. That's my job, just joking. And, uh, continue my job. Uh, you know, in Brooklyn, New York, when I was a little kid growing up, we used to play a lot of street sports. I'm sure you guys did too. Remember uh, stickball? We had a lot of people. Punch ball, stoop ball. Box ball, ball ball, you know, anything with ball. <laughs> but the weirdest game I've ever played in my entire life had to be an elementary school gym class. Remember dodgeball? Yeah. The, the sickest game in the entire nation, right? Eight guys on this side of the gym, right? Eight guys on this side of the gym, one guy with a big red rubber ball, bigger than his own head, and his job is to go whop him and hit somebody. Great game. <laughs> and that guy's out. <laughs> yeah, cold. <laughs> Yeah, now you know why we have war in this country. Reagan was probably a great dodgeball player. He was his head all the time. You know? But you know, the rest of the time we're in elementary school gym class, we're not doing all, a lot of gym stuff. We're singing, remember? You had to sing and dance with your classmates. It's so embarrassing. They always take the shortest, fattest kid in the class. And I know. And, uh, oh, I was great in dodgeball. Move, Eddie, move! I'm moving! Oh, damn! But they make us sing ridiculous songs like... I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Yeah, I'm getting laid that whole year, right? Yeah, I'm short and stout, how you doing? Hey, where you going? Hey, come back. It was strange. But, and you used to fall in love in elementary school. It was very different. In elementary school, when kids fall in love, they're so shy, they don't want to admit it. When you're an older guy, like a junior high school guy, you know. Hey, Jimmy, how was your date? Man, I got to third base. Meanwhile, the guy never took his glove out of his drawer, but that's another story. You know? In elementary school, you say, hey, Jimmy, how was your date? It's like, she sucks, she's scum, she's a pig, I hate her, you know? Because you don't want to admit it. And of course, you'll never let your friends catch you kiss the girl. Oh, no, because your friends become the little kid asshole choir all of a sudden, right? Eddie and Jamie sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. Hey, first comes love, then comes marriage. Then comes Jamie with the baby carriage. Yeah, if seven-year-old Jamie comes to my house with a baby carriage, I've got a lot more to worry about than my asshole friends, if you know what I mean. <laughs> it's the truth. Oh, a little sweat here. Oh, double handkerchief, just in case. Here you go. <laughs> and Tom Jones thinks women like that. It's not unusual to be hot with anyone. But la, 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 la. It's not unusual to be hot. Why, why, why do I? Tom, hold on to your own handkerchief, all right, pal? We'll buy one on the way out. Thank you very much. You know? When I was a little kid, my mom used to send me to my grandparents all the time because, well, she was a young lady. She was 20 when I was born. And, you know, I'm 25. You know, when she's 25, I'm only five years old. And she's not going to take, you know, me out. So she, my grandma's. And the weirdest thing about my grandmother was that she was so good to me, but I'll never forget how I hated her for years because that one night, the night I realized she had false teeth. Remember that? Like when you realize, there's two shocks involved here, right? The first shock is when you see the teeth in the glass, okay? The second shock was when you realize the teeth are not in her mouth. You know? It's like, you know, what's this? Teeth? Ah! What's the matter, Eddie? and grandma hell now, you know, looking in soup for ears and shit, you know. <laughs> I got your nose. No, you don't, grandma, leave my nose alone. You're coming apart, not me, goddammit. <laughs> and my grandfather was a real prankster, too. He'd always hide shit on me. 
You're getting warmer. You're getting warm. So when I got older, I figured I'd fuck him. You're getting warmer. You're getting warm. You're getting hotter. You're getting hotter. You're boiling. Of course I'm boiling, goddammit. Where are my heart pills, goddammit? <laughs> you guys have been terrific. My name's Eddie Brills. Have fun. I'm going up to see the panel. Thank you. Eddie Brill. Thanks, guys. Come on up. All right. All right, Eddie. Eddie Brill. Good, Ed. Nice to see you yeah, again. Nice to be here, folding my legs like the old panel style here. Yeah, you look like the oh. old kind. Very nice. Oh, thanks. He's dead. I hope I look a little better. Did he just die? Yeah, the same day that... Uh, oh, what's my his God. Name? David Susskind died. Oh, my God. <laughs> Remember what Lenny Clark used to say? Everybody move up a notch. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he died the same day uh, Andy Warhol died, and that was a no. So he didn't get front page sus so kind. No, of course, second know. page. Andy Warhol was canned. <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, he's, he's in the soup. He's in the soup. So anyway, wacky punster. Oh, that's I'm pun jab, the pun man. You're going after uh, after the show. You're going over to do the uh, Emerson, Emerson comedy, comedy workshop. For you went to Emerson Benefit? College, right? Yeah, with you. Remember? <laughs> oh yeah, that was you. Uh, <laughs> That's right. But you're doing a benefit for them? Yeah, tonight, uh, Dennis Leary Why, and they Mario. can't afford lunch or something? <laughs> well, you know, they have a little program they're putting together now, and uh, I'm part of it. So uh, you've just come in from New York City. How long are you in town for? Uh, another week and a half. Uh-huh. You're one of the, you, you're like Rickles, man. You sweat like, uh, oh, I know. does anybody got an extra hanky? I got two. Uh, I'm the human sweater here. Yeah? Uh, so. Yeah. Yeah. You're busting out all over? <laughs> well, this shirt's seven years old, and it it's only kind of AIDS. Sweating. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> if you're having trouble kicking that cough, <laughs> see if you can get it. I have no trouble. Doing gay jokes, so. <laughs> That's oh, right. Shit. That's the first sign. Unless you wear a pro off while you do the joke. Oh. Yeah, okay. Professor? <laughs> no, that's how you get it. Oh. We'll talk afterwards. Good oh, yeah. Yeah. Super. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Ed. So where are you staying while you're in town? <laughs> um, actually, I'm staying with Dennis Leary in Charlestown. You're staying in Charlestown? Yeah. At Dennis's house? Yeah. Do you see any advantages to staying in Charlestown? Um, it's a free room. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's very nice. No, we've been friends for a long, as long as I've known you, uh, 11 years. I don't see him that often. So yeah, but I won't let you stay at my house. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. And that has its advantages, too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. But it, Eddie lets me stay over at his place when I'm in New York City. It's a fabulous uh, <laughs> studio <laughs> apartment that has uh, a cat that eats most of the roaches. And, uh, and I have a couch that folds out into a three-bedroom. Oh, yeah. Beautiful, out. beautiful sperm couch. It's a nice, uh, <laughs> nice kind of a thing. Kind of stalactites hanging off the top of it, but uh, <laughs> hey, somebody's got to wear it. Yeah, know. I know. Luckily, it won't be me this time. I'll stay in the Gramercy Park. Thank you very much. Oh, a little free plug, and that's important. That's right. How's the paper moon going? It's Around okay. the comedy club in the village. Right. It's it's not as like it used to be. We used to have a downstairs room. It was really great. Now they moved it upstairs to make more money. But actually, I kind of liked upstairs. I played there uh, yeah, a couple we, of weeks ago, and it's was there a crowd like, there when you were there? There was actually oh, humans yeah. there, which was Kenny, unusual. Kenny Rogerson had the sloth weekend. They were for the weekend. Oh, did you work there, Ken? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Golly. You turned down some big money for that. Super. <laughs> kind of like the old Ding Ho, though. The upstairs. No, the Ding Ho. He, 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 at least two Chinamen. <laughs> <laughs> That's this right. club, I mean, I'm out in the street giving money to channel. Come on in, come on in. Yeah, yeah. it's just kind of with the upstairs. The audiences are, I don't know, it hasn't been that packed. Nil. No, it was small <laughs> when McKinney was in, but like the last three weeks have been pretty good. I think. Well, that's good. 